This right here is the most popular gaming PC according to the Steam Hardware Survey. This PC will have no problems playing any game you throw at it, but should you be building this gaming PC? In today's video, we're gonna talk about the parts that are inside this gaming PC and how much it actually costs to build the most popular gaming PC on Steam, along with test it in games that you all are actually playing. Not the super demanding games that us tech YouTubers like to test, the games that are the most played games right now on Steam and see how it holds up in 2023. But you know what holds up very well and is actually pretty awesome? Today's video sponsor. Today's video is brought to you by Micro Center. Micro Center has 25 locations nationwide with one opening in Indianapolis this summer and two more coming by 2025. If you sign up and visit the Indianapolis store, you can also receive 128 gigabyte flash drive for free. If you're a new customer, you can take advantage of an amazing deal to get 25 off your next purchase of any AMD or Intel processor. This awesome coupon even applies to different bundles that contain a processor. Micro Center is also offering some insane discounts on laptops you won't see anywhere else during the month of April. You can get Apple MacBooks for $200 off MSRP all month long, and even some Windows laptops with the MSI Katana 15. Micro Center is our one-stop shop for PC hardware. With deals like these, it's no wonder why. Check out the links in the description down below for more info, and big thanks again to Micro Center for sponsoring today's video. We spent a little under $1,000 for this entire combo, actually taking advantage of a used GPU deal with the RTX 3060, but uh, yeah, let's just go over each individual part and how it makes up this most popular gaming PC build. So based on our research, it is definitely an Intel i5. We believe it's 10th or 11th gen. They're kind of vague in the Steam hardware charge, but we know it's a six core 12 thread. And on top of that, we know that people love i5s. Now we do want to just give a quick mention and shout out to the i3s. Now, a lot of people see i3 and they just like, oh, that's not for gaming. We beg to differ. Check out the 10th and 12th and 13th gen i3. They're really good and the 12th and 13th one have gen four support and their four core eight thread. And in terms of gaming, they will perform almost the exact same as this i5, especially with the measly 3060. Now for the motherboard, we have a very nice MSI Mag B560M mortar board. And that is going in a micro ATX case. That's why we have a micro ATX board. If it was a full size case, we'd go ATX. If it was mini, we'd go mini ITX. But it's actually a pretty nice board. You really don't have to get something that's this nice, but you do actually have a eight plus four pin. You have four RAM slots, plenty of expansion. So it's definitely a higher end board. You could get away with using like an H510 if you really want to save some money. If you can find them cheaper, but 11 gen and 10 gen are kind of being phased out. So you might not even see boards like this super cheap anymore. And to cool this i5, which does come with a nice stock cooler, by the way, we wanted to go a little bit nicer and we're using this Cooler Master Hyper 212 Halo Black. So this is a newer Hyper 212 that has one of their Halo fans on it. And it's gonna look really nice instead of this Cooler Master case that Matt will be talking about. I am super stoked about that case actually. But yeah, these coolers, they are legendary. I love the Hyper 212 Black Edition. Um, I'm not a huge fan of like the OG OG, OG 212s, but hey, they have probably sold the most coolers in the market. So this one is definitely a good go-to. Now, 16 gigs of RAM is still the most popular option, but make sure you go dual channel, especially if you're spending any kind of good money. You wanna have two sticks of RAM because if you only have one, you're gonna be sacrificing some performance. So I would rather you buy two four gig sticks and only have eight gigs than buy one 16, if that tells you anything. Now you're probably wondering, why do we have a two terabyte SSD? Well, there's two reasons. Reason number one, it is very freaking cheap. I mean, this is probably under $100, which is pretty freaking awesome. So we don't have to have multiple drives, but two is a lot of people have secondary drives drives, especially if you know you're gonna be playing a lot of games. A lot of people buy like a 256 or a 512 gig SSD and they run out of space really fast with expansion in mind. So they usually buy like a one terabyte hard drive or a two terabyte hard drive. We really don't recommend buying hard drives anymore. If you already have one, don't get rid of it. There's no reason. But if you can just afford something like this out the gate, definitely do that because it's gonna look so much cleaner. No SATA cables, no extra drives, no allocating, no having to do disc checks and stuff like that. You're just good to go with this. None of that wumbo jumbo. Wumbo jumbo. Wombus Jumbus. Now this right here, guys, is the most popular GPU right now. This is the RTX 3060 with its 12 gigs of VRAM. And uh, yeah, it's a 60 series card from Nvidia. That seems to be the most popular like level of card that people want to buy on the market right now. And this card is pretty decent. I bought this one on eBay for a little under $300, a two fan MSI model, only requires eight pin power. And uh, yeah, it's a 3060. Everyone likes Nvidia cards. Of course, there's really good value with AMD, but at the end of the day, people are buying Nvidia stuff. So you know what, we're gonna see what kind of performance we can get when pairing it with everything else that is the most popular hardware. Now, one thing the Steam Hardware Survey doesn't really help you out with is power supply. It doesn't really know the wattages. So we went with something that's pretty respectable, a smart BM2 550 watt. Anything between 550 watts and 600 watts is more than enough for this PC build. And this is a C tier 
underrated power supply that's pretty, well, adequate, good to go. And it's available on Amazon with Prime shipping for about $50 to $60. Now, in terms of the case, we're actually very excited about this case. This is the TD300 mesh, which we are big fans of the TD500 mesh from Core Master, which is basically just add another fan and make it full size. Uh, but this is a Microtex version, so you can uh, have a more compact build, save money on getting a smaller motherboard, and also get these RGB fans up front with this geometric pattern. And I think it'll pair very nicely with this Hyper 212 Halo Black, which we got. So um, yeah, very excited to put this build together, see how it performs overall. But uh, I think it's gonna do well, but I wanna see in person if it actually does well. All right, guys, we're playing the most popular game. CSGO. Did you guys <laughs> did you guys see that coming? It's been the most popular game on Steam for probably since it came out. And as you can see, we're running kind of a mix, but basically like it's just set to auto high uh, with like a couple of things turned off. But I mean, yeah, it's it's a game that's like 10 years old. <laughs> Do you really need this PC to run CSGO? No, you don't. But all y'all are playing CSGO no matter what the specs. So he's gonna get Hans here. I got this guy. Oh, yep. Hans is done. Oh, oh. oh, he got me. Kind of rare getting a game like that has full people. <laughs> you got him. <laughs> yeah. Marge Shrimp. That's how I imagine people play this game sometimes. Yeah. Does it say I dislike juice or justice? I dislike just. Oh, yeah. Yes. I'm, I'm on that kill feed. <laughs> I just realized the profile picture of one of the top leaderboards up there. Look at 403 when it comes back. Is it that? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing uh, wrong with that. Nothing wrong with it. Come and get it. We're all inclusive. Or is it? Yeah, inclusive, not exclusive. <laughs> We're all exclusive. We're not exclusive. <laughs> We're an exclusive club. Boy. God. They're coming, cat. They're coming, cat. Where's my stimmy? Oh, no. no. All right, I'm going to get one more kill or one more life and then I'm done. This, this is his moment. <laughs> I'm going to get one, one more, more life. life. One more life. One more life. And then all I'm right. freaking done. Oh, that guy was oh, just yeah. Sick. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, no, let me get my 4K, 4K! 4K! Uh, no! Well, How about 350? 350, 350 me, but yeah, I mean, overall, I mean, yeah, it's it's running really well. Um, you know, if you're getting a 3060 for the number one game, the number one card, this is definitely a good card for it. Now I'm sad you're making me play the next game, guys. It's PUBG. Let's see how this goes. We sad. All right, guys, we're in PUBG, kinda. Uh, we're on the high preset 1080p. Um, I have to complete matches with AI. He's so yeah, I'm a bot. Um, but right now, I'm getting good FPS. I remember when this game came out and it was like really hard to run. It was really unoptimized. So they've, they've come a long way with that. All right, here we go. I remember dropping, you'd lag like crazy. Oh, yeah. Like you almost like leave the game. It's like buttery smooth. Wow, this game is insane. And here we go. It definitely does look a lot better than when it came out. When it came out, I like looked back at some old gameplay and I'm just like, ugh. A better game than this. Excuse me? That might be a real person. Okay, well, that person's dead now. Um, so you guys can see the uh, 3060 be absolutely stressed. I mean, honestly, this configuration just on paper, you could already tell is gonna perform well. It's gonna play anything you throw at it. It's just, it's just interesting to see uh, why everyone is choosing the 3060. And I think it just has to do with it being an NVIDIA card and a budget NVIDIA card. I also think it's the VRAM. And I think a lot of people too. see that 12 gigs. And uh, cause we have a lot of people like reach out to PC bros like, Oh, you know, I don't really want the 3070 because it only has 8 gigs. I don't want the 3070 Ti because it only oh, yeah. has 8 gigs. And it's like, well, the 3060 really shouldn't have had 12 gigs. And that's what a lot of people have agreed with. Um, and there actually is a new 3060 out that is, was that an 8 gig or a 10 gig? It's an 8 gig. There's an 8 gig 3060 that's a little dumbed down. Uh, a little bit cheaper that honestly, like that's how the card should have been. Yeah. <laughs> the card sure can't take a lot of hit and stuff. Like how they just like disappear. Yeah, I'm not even taking any damage. Oh wait, here we go. This looks more like way more fun. These bridges have caused some. Oh! Oh! Ah! Oh, oh, oh. uh, that was not a good idea. That could have been cool. There you're going 120 kilometers. So 59 people alive. Where do we at? Oh! So the radius is not tight on this. No, bad it is. Boy. It is not. We're going up. Woo! Woo! Oh no! Oh. <laughs> so the 
then the way it? the way I died, I just landed and it was like you're just standing. <laughs> oh, I'm standing. Yeah, that's probably the best way for that to end. But uh, yeah, it's PUBG, and obviously the most popular games on Steam right now. The most popular PC is gonna have no problem running because most of y'all just play esports titles. You don't even play crazy high end games. But speaking of higher end games, we're gonna switch to some built in benchmarks and uh, kind of wrap up this video real quick and just kind of talk about the 3060 and i5 11400, just i5 in general combination and why. Well, all you all are buying it. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking our most popular gaming PC, and I can definitely see why it's pretty popular. It's very appealing because a lot of people just really love NVIDIA graphics cards, for one, because they're really good with the NVENC encoder, and also, if we're just being honest, they're kind of like the Nike of graphics cards at the moment. People just like the name, and they hear a lot of people say that they like them. You also get 12 gigs of VRAM, which, as Matt and I kind of mentioned the benchmarks, not really important because cards even like the RTX 3070 Ti and the 3070 only come with eight gigs, which is plenty for most people. So we kind of think the 12 gigs was kind of a marketing scheme in a way. You really don't need that 12 gigs and I would not pay a ton of attention to that. Yeah, this is overall a good combination. If you're building a PC today, you'd be more than happy with this. Obviously you can configure it a little bit differently or, or go a different direction if you're looking to build a PC at this price point. But if you went this route, you won't be disappointed. And also just a quick shout out to this TD300 mesh and the Hyper 212 from Cooler Master. It did pretty well. The combination works really well together and I'm very happy with this MicroTX version of this case. If you wanna build this gaming PC, check the links in the description down below. They will be affiliate links, they will help us out. Let us know what your favorite part of this PC build is and let us know if you have a 36 or any of the most popular PC components in the comment section down below. And as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did check out our other YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash toastybros and do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one, goodbye. Now this gaming PC right here will be for sale at PCBros.Tech and if you want any other gaming PC, whether it's a lot more or a lot less or one just like this, just let us know. PCBros.Tech, gaming PCs, gaming laptops, and merch. He's got the merch on right now. PC Bros and Toasty Bros merch. Use code Toasty Bros 200 to check out the save 2% your next purchase. See you guys later, goodbye. Peace out.